Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In this series, we are talking about AWS KMS and this, in this particular video, we will talk about KMS Customer Managed Key and I will give you a demo how you can create Customer Managed Key. And in that demo, I will specifically show you about the key material origin which is from KMS. So let's go to our console. So I am in my uh, AWS console and I open my KMS and if you want you can find KMS under security if you go to your main screen all services security identity compliance and you will find key management service so I'll go to customer manage key and I click on create key so when you click on create key for customer manage key there are two different type of keys you can create symmetric key or asymmetric key Symmetric key is the key where single key will be provided for both encryption and decryption but for asymmetric key you will get a pair public key and private key pair. Uh, so we will uh, choose symmetric key for this demo and we will click on advanced option. Now here you can see key material origin. So remember in my slide I mentioned key material origin as KMS. So we will be using in this demo where my key material origin is KMS. In addition, you have two other origin you can use external and uh, custom key store. External is you cre uh, you'd, uh, create or generate the key material on your own prem and then you upload it to KMS. And the customer key is the cloud HSM. You generate that material in cloud HSM. So for simplicity, we just keep it as KMS for this demo just for the learning purpose that how KMS work. And uh, next, you uh, see the originality. Earlier, KMS was a single region key only that in which which region you generate the key you can use the key in that region only but now uh, AWS make this KMS as a multi-region key so you can create a key in one region and then replicate that key in another region as well. I have already created a video on that and I will provide you the link on the right hand side corner here and you can click and you can learn more about multi-region key if you want. So I'll keep it a single region key here then we can click on next here we need to provide an alias i will say cmk demo one and if you want you can provide some description here and tags next here you have to provide a key administrator key administrator will be the user who will administrate this key they can define that who can access this key they can uh, do all the actions or, or administrative tasks on the particular key in case any changes need to be required right rotation need to be set or not those kind of thing can be done by the administrator so you can define any user as uh, administrator so for now i'll use um, cdd admin as my uh, administrator for this particular key here you can also uh, give the rights to that administrator whether they can delete this key or not or you can say that this administrator can just administrate the particular key but the deletion rights i just want to keep it with the root account next here you will define that which uh, user can use this particular key so one thing you have to remember that based on what user you defined only those users will be able to access this particular key or use that particular key suppose you are uploading any data to s3 file or s3 bucket and you are using this particular key and the user who logged in into console while uploading the, that uh, particular object if that user does not have access to this key they won't be able to upload or read that particular object so for simplicity i'll read i'll keep it like cdd admin is my user who will be using this particular key and if you want you can link any other aws account as well who can use this particular key next we'll just review all the configuration what we have set and here you can see the policy that who all have administrative access and who all have your user access and then we we'll click on the finish so once we click on the finish our key is created and it's ready to use now if i go to my s3 And I'll go to my bucket and go to properties and default encryption and I use choose your own so you can see the key which I just created you can see it here CMK demo one if you want you can use this particular key here 
another thing about if I open this particular key, you can see you will um, get the key policy. You can switch to key policy and see that. If you want, you can edit that policy as well. Uh, if you remember in AWS managed key, you were not able to edit this, but in customer managed key, you can edit this policy. Uh, and policy is basically having that who can administrate and who can use uh, the, your particular key. And then, then you will see the cryptography configuration tags and here you can define the key rotation. So right now this key won't be rotating, rotated, but if you want, you can enable that, that automatically rotate the, this KMS key every year. So guys, if you are preparing for a certification exam, do remember that customer managed keys where KMS material is generated can be or will be rotated every year if you select this option. But if you go to the customer or AWS managed key, these keys will be rotated automatically by AWS every three years. But for customer managed key, you have to specify that you want to rotate that key. And if you specify, these keys will be rotating once in a year only. So just uh, keep that in mind while going into the exam because you will, might be tested on this kind of a question. So you can save it. And after that, it will be rotated every year. Uh, next is alias. So if you want, you can create multiple alias or if you want, you can delete uh, if you have more than one alias as well. If you go to the key actions, you can disable this key. Once you disable the key, nobody will be able to use this particular key. That means that you won't be able to use it for encryption or description. Second is scheduled key deletion. You can delete this key, but you have a waiting period of seven to 30 days. What does that mean? That, that means that you it will wait for seven days before deleting this particular key. That's a minimum or the maximum you can define that I want to wait for 30 days and only then I want to delete the key. The reason for that is because if this key is used by any application and the moment you disable or delete this particular key, that application will start having an issue and you don't want because once the key is deleted, it's gone. You can never retrieve that particular key. Even AWS cannot retrieve this key once it's deleted. So they want to give you enough room period that in case you are using this key anywhere with any of your application, so you have a time and if you get alerted that, hey, my application is not working because this key is no longer available, you can go ahead and uh, enable that key again. So suppose I'm saying that after seven days, delete this particular key, go to confirm and delete it. So even though the it's saying the pending deletion, suppose I want uh, I found the application which was using this particular key. I can go ahead and I can say cancel key deletion. So that way I can save that, that my key is still there and I can either change the key in the particular application, take whatever action we need. And after that we can delete it. Um, if I click on edit, the only thing you can edit is the description. So that's all about the customer managed key where you are uh, having key material originated by KMS. I uh, hope you like this video guys and uh, in the next video I will be talking about external key material, how you can generate that key material on your own and then upload the key material here. So hope you like that video. Please do subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading this whole series on encryption and AWS KMS and in future I will be uploading more videos on newly known services from AWS. Please do subscribe and press on the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you so much. Bye.